ever pondered how the first ship came into being? Our journey begins with the origins of ships, tracing back to a time when humanity dared to conquer the vast and unpredictable waters. The earliest vessels were simple, rudimentary rafts, crafted from the materials at hand, wood, reeds, or even inflated animal skins. As societies progressed, so did their maritime technology. The invention of the sail was a game-changer, allowing humans to harness the power of the wind. This led to the birth of advanced vessels, the lifeblood of ancient civilizations. These ships, equipped with multiple masts and robust hulls, were more than just modes of transport. They played a pivotal role in exploration, trade, and even warfare. They connected distant lands and cultures, opening up a world of possibilities. The seeds of maritime ingenuity were sown in these early vessels, setting the stage for the future. But how did we advance from simple rafts to the colossal ships of today? The journey of shipbuilding is a fascinating tale of innovation and evolution. It all began with the simple sail, a technological marvel of its time, harnessing the power of wind to propel vessels across vast oceans. As we moved forward, the materials used for construction transformed. From the humble beginnings of wood, we transitioned to the strength of iron and finally to the durability and lightness of modern materials such as aluminium and steel. But it didn't stop there. The heart of a ship, its engine, has also seen tremendous advancements. From relying on the unpredictable wind, to the steam engine's predictable power, and now to the remarkable efficiency of diesel and nuclear engines, the propulsion systems have come a long way. And let's not forget the sophisticated navigation and communication systems, making the seas safer and journeys more efficient. The evolution of ships is a testament to human innovation and engineering prowess. Ever surprised by the sheer diversity of ships? Indeed, the world of ships extends far beyond the simple definition of a vessel that floats on water. From the tranquil shores of a lake where small leisure boats bob gently, to the bustling harbors that welcome enormous cargo ships, the variety is immense. Luxury cruisers gliding through azure waters offer a floating city of comfort and extravagance. Yet, not all ships are designed for leisure. Some, like military vessels, are built for purpose and power, embodying the might of nations. And let's not forget the specialized research vessels, the unsung heroes of the maritime world. These ships venture into the unknown, braving tempestuous seas and icy depths to increase our understanding of the planet. Yes, the spectrum of ships is as vast as the oceans they sail. Ships, in all their diversity, serve a myriad of purposes. But how does one construct these massive vessels? The answer lies in the art and science of modern shipbuilding. Today's shipyards are complex ecosystems where engineering, technology, and human expertise converge to create marvels of the sea. The process begins with meticulous planning and design, followed by the formation of the ship's skeleton, or the hull, often using robust materials like steel or aluminium. Composite materials, lightweight yet incredibly strong, are also becoming increasingly popular in the industry. Cutting-edge techniques, such as modular construction, where parts of the ship are built separately and then assembled together, streamline the building process. Advanced technologies like computer-aided design and manufacturing ensure precision and efficiency at every stage. Welding, fitting out the ship with essentials like engines, electric systems and accommodation, and rigorous testing are all part of the shipbuilding journey. It's a process that demands not only technical know-how, but also a deep understanding of maritime needs and standards. Modern shipbuilding is a marvel of engineering and innovation. But what propels these behemoths across the vast oceans? The answer lies in the magic of propulsion technology. Ships, regardless of their size or purpose, rely on a wide array of propulsion systems. The workhorse of the shipping industry, the diesel engine, has powered ships for over a century, converting fuel into mechanical energy that drives the propellers. Yet the maritime world is not immune to the climate crisis. Increasingly, we're seeing the rise of renewable energy systems like solar and wind harnessed for propulsion. Imagine ships gliding over the waves powered by the sun's radiant energy or the wind's invisible might. But propulsion is just half the story. On board, advances in navigation and communication technology have revolutionized seafaring. From satellite-based GPS providing precise location data to advanced radar systems scanning the horizon for obstacles, technology ensures safe and efficient voyages. Ships are not just about size and strength, but also about the technology that powers them. But what is the environmental cost of these massive vessels? A question we must ask ourselves as we delve into the environmental impact of the maritime industry. 
shipping, despite its efficiency, poses significant environmental challenges. From the smokestacks of cargo ships, harmful emissions billow out, contributing to air pollution and climate change. Fuel spills, a less frequent but highly destructive consequence, wreak havoc on marine ecosystems, with long-lasting effects that ripple throughout the food chain. But amidst these challenges, the maritime industry is not simply standing by. Efforts to make ships more sustainable are underway, with innovations like cleaner fuels, energy-efficient designs, and even harnessing wind power for propulsion. These advancements are not just necessary, they're vital. As we continue to rely on ships for trade, travel, and exploration, we must ensure that this reliance doesn't come at the expense of our planet. After all, the future of shipping must be green. Did you know that ships play a critical role in the global economy? Let's set sail on a journey to understand this better. Ships are the unsung heroes of globalization, quietly moving vast quantities of goods across oceans and seas. Whether it's the coffee you sip this morning, the car you drive, or the phone you're currently holding, chances are they've made their way to you via sea. The world's fleet of over 50,000 merchant ships crisscrosses the globe, carrying everything from raw materials to finished products. They connect countries and continents, enabling trade and commerce on a massive scale. This maritime highway is the backbone of our modern, interconnected world. In fact, it's estimated that shipping carries over 90% of world trade. That's a staggering testament to its importance. So next time you purchase something, spare a thought for the vast network of ships that made it possible. Ships are the lifeblood of the global economy. Ever dreamt of a sea voyage? Well, maritime tourism and recreation have made this dream a reality for many. This industry is a world of its own, offering a variety of experiences that cater to diverse interests. Pleasure cruises, for instance, are an epitome of luxury on water. Imagine traversing the vast oceans, enjoying fine cuisine, and indulging in onboard entertainment. But it's not just about luxury. There's an adventurous side to maritime tourism as well. For those who seek thrill and connection with nature, activities like scuba diving, sport fishing, and water sports offer a unique blend of excitement and tranquility. Scuba diving takes you into the heart of the ocean, revealing an underwater world teeming with vibrant sea life. Sport fishing, on the other hand, brings the thrill of the chase and the satisfaction of a catch. And for adrenaline junkies, water sports like surfing, jet skiing, and parasailing provide an exhilarating rush. But how safe are these massive vessels? Let's delve into the world of maritime safety and regulations. It's a realm where safety is no afterthought, but a meticulously planned and executed process. From the smallest dinghy to the largest cargo ship, every vessel needs to adhere to stringent regulations set by international maritime bodies. These rules cover everything from life-saving equipment to crew training and accident prevention measures. Life rafts, life jackets, fire extinguishers, and distress signals are just a few examples of the mandatory equipment on board. But it doesn't stop there. The crew members themselves undergo rigorous training, learning everything from navigation to firefighting, ensuring they're ready for any situation at sea. And then there are protocols designed to prevent accidents. These include everything from navigation rules, collision avoidance strategies, to strict maintenance schedules. In this vast expanse of water, where help may be miles away, these regulations serve as a lifeline. Safety is paramount in the realm of ships, did you know ships also contribute to scientific discovery? As we delve deeper, let's explore how these maritime giants serve as platforms for scientific research. Ships enable us to study the vast expanse of our oceans, offering a unique perspective into the world of oceanography. With their help, we've mapped the ocean floor, discovered new species, and gained a better understanding of marine ecosystems. But the role of ships in scientific research doesn't stop at oceanography. They're also critical in climate studies. By collecting data on sea temperatures, ocean currents, and atmospheric conditions, ships provide invaluable information for climate scientists, helping us understand and combat climate change. And let's not forget about marine biodiversity studies. Ships allow us to venture into unexplored territories, discovering and documenting the rich biodiversity of marine life, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. Ships are not just vessels of commerce, but also vessels of discovery. They're our window to the unseen parts of our planet, crucial tools in our quest for knowledge.